Okey, Assalamualaikum kawan-kawan Okey, ini hari ni aku nak buat tutorial Apa yang anda perlu buat Kalau anda nak Claim warranty Okey Okey, sekarang ni Owner phone ni Ini phone Mi 11T ya. Mi 11T dah masuk EU 11T Pro Dia dah masuk EU Ok Tuan punya phone ni uh, Komplain kadang-kadang uh, Line tak ada Lepas tu charge uh, Dia punya Dia punya apa tu Charging tak naik Ok Charge dia tak naik Lepas tu kita restart Baru dia bertukar dia punya tu dia punya persen untuk untuk uh, percentage dekat dekat phone ni lah ok yang ni ni ini dia tak naik tau kita cocok charge tak naik kita reboot baru dia naik ha, jadi sekarang ni owner ni dia pakai xiaomi.u ok xiaomi.u dia pakai xiaomi.u jadi dia nak hantar warranty aa uh, apa tu dia nak hantar warranty tapi kita tak boleh hantar claim warranty dekat Xiaomi Malaysia dengan dengan uh, Xiaomi Duo you punya ROM tak boleh kita kena masuk official ROM dia asal lah ROM asal ROM global ROM balik ha, jadi sebelum hantar tu kita flash balik dia punya official ROM yang keluar daripada kotak ha, lepas tu kita lock balik bull order Barulah kita hantar Mi Xiaomi Malaysia Xiaomi Center dekat Malaysia Dia tak reject phone tu Ok Aku dah check dah Phone ni adalah phone my set Jadi Tak risau lah Kita tak risau lah Kita nak 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 claim warranty Tengok eh Cara untuk check phone my set Kau install <coughs> Kau install Ha, ni dia Sekejap Kau install apps ni Check your label ni Kau install ni Kau install ni Lepas tu kau check dia punya IMEI Sebab Susah juga kalau kita Tapi Mi 11 series mest Mestinya uh, global set lah My set lah okay. Kau check dia punya IMEI Macam ni IMEI masa, masa kau buka apps tu Dia akan tanya ni Kau nak check using product serial number Or check using IMEI Ok jadi kau check kau tekan check using IME. Kalau nak tahu phone tu dah register sebagai my set. Kau letak IME dekat sini eh. Kalau nak tahu phone tu sebagai my set lah. Okey. Sekejap eh Ok ini dia MCMC Kalau keluar information MCMC ni Maksudnya Phone ni Adalah My set Ok kita boleh check detail ni Jadi phone ni dah diregister Dengan MCMC Siri Malaysia Jadi phone ni my set Jadi dekat data dekat Xiaomi Malaysia akan ada jadi kita tak risau Cuma kita nak tahu Warranty bila habis Sebab untuk 11 series T-series Ok untuk phone Xiaomi Yang flagship uh, Mi Xiaomi 13 ke 13 Pro ke 13 Ultra ke Xiaomi 12T 12T Pro 11T 11T Pro uh, 10T 10T Pro Semuanya warranty dia 24 bulan Okey, semua orang tak tahu tu. Ah kadang-kadang sekarang ni 
11T series ada masalah green line <coughs> Green line Lepas tu dia post dekat Facebook cakap uh, Berapa harga nak repair Sebab uh, Ada green line uh, Lepas tu Dia tak tahu kan Jadi Tak tahulah Kalau kau tak tahu Kau akan bayar lah apa waranti 11T series ada 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 lagi sebulan dua lagi untuk habis dia punya waranti dua tahun ok ha, ramai orang tak peka pasal benda lah ni beli phone dia tak tahu waranti phone dia berapa tahun ha, lepas tu kena kecewa alamak kecewa tak ada waranti dah habis padahal ada lagi setahun lagi waranti ha, ingat eh Xiaomi flagship dengan Xiaomi T series waranti 24 bulan Ok Warranty 24 bulan Jadi sekarang ni aku nak buat tutorial Macam mana Nak flash balik Dom asal Lock bulloader Supaya dia boleh hantar Claim warranty Ok uh, Ok untuk cakap bahasa English Ok for you out there uh, Today I'm going to, going to do A tutorial how What you will do if you want to claim warranty okay before this i i i make a tutorial video how to flash a global rom or xiaomi.eu rom okay let's say you buy a chinese rom a chinese version you flash a global rom so you want to claim warranty you want to send to to, to the china or you want to send to your your seller to claim warranty so what you are going to do okay first of all you have to flash its original room okay in this case this device is Xiaomi 11T Pro okay you can see here Xiaomi 11T Pro this is a global set <coughs> already flash Xiaomi.eu room so this owner want to send want to claim warranty okay so first thing you have to flash its original rom so for Xiaomi 11T Pro the original rom is global rom so you have to flash it to its original rom okay first of all you download the rom As usual in my earlier video, I always download it from me firm. Okay, so device is Xiaomi 11T Pro. Okay, this is the code name is Billy. Okay, Xiaomi 11T Pro. So, uh, for Xiaomi 11T Pro, there is no China version. There is no version that similar to 11T Pro. This device is on its own. So, there is no global version. But EU, Xiaomi.eu developers still produce this room based from global room. Okay, you can see EU here, custom room Xiaomi.eu. It based from global ROM TKD MISM. Even though there is no China ROM available, China version available. If China version not available for these similar devices, so that means there is no China ROM. Okay, so you can see here global TKD MISM. This EU is also TKD MISM. So When you check at the device SKD MISM So T is Android uh, 13 S is Android uh, uh, 12 Okay, so this device still not update The latest EU Xiaomi.eu ROM Okay, so SKD KD, I want to I want to look at the KD. KD is the code for 11T Pro. KD. So, for the 
official global is also KD. Okay, now you download this ROM. Download it. You don't worry, this link is straight to the Xiaomi server. Okay? Don't afraid to use this link. This website. It's straight to download server Xiaomi. Okay? Okay, now we start downloading. <coughs> So let wait until it finish downloading. Okay. Eight minute left, as per this shows. It shows at eight, eight minute left. Okay. So untuk sesiapa yang cakap alamak kita dah tukar room claim warranty dah void lah tak void. Okay. Some of you say that if we change room warranty is void it not void as long as you send it back to the center with its original room and with bootloader lock okay okay kawan-kawan warranty takkan void kalau anda hantar claim warranty dengan room yang asal okay lepas tu anda lock bootloader Ha, jadi bila center terima Dia tengok room tu room asal Memang global room Official global room Kalau kalau mungkin ha, sekarang ni dia lagi strict Dia nak tengok bull order lock Kalau bull order unlock void warranty ha, Itu kau lock bull order Hantar dekat dia 4 tahun lepas 4 atau 3 tahun lepas Aku hantar claim warranty Mi 12 Mix Mix Mi Mix 2S Aku hantar claim warranty Ha, sebab apa? Sebab aku pakai aftermarket charger Aku charge Motherboard rosak Dah tak boleh naik Dia tak naik dah Masa tu aku pakai EU Aku memang I'm a, an EU user Aku memang EU punya orang aku, Setiap kali pun Xiaomi aku beli Aku aku masuk EU Xiaomi.eu punya ROM Okay Masa tu aku pakai EU ROM Okay Phone aku rosak Mix to S tu rosak Pakai aftermarket charger Ha, bila aku charge dia tak naik Bateri tak naik <coughs> Lepas tu aku nak claim warranty Aku nak claim warranty Aku flash lah balik Dia punya ROM asal Masa tu aku tak lock bulu dia Aku flash ROM asal aku hantar lah Aku hantar dia, dia, dia ambil pun aku Dia tengok Okey semua dalam keadaan yang asal Jalan Tukar motherboard dengan tukar USB port Okey, siapa-siapa yang cakap, "Oi, takutlah nak flash ROM lain, takut nanti void warranty." Tak void warranty kalau engkau masa hantar tu engkau tukar balik ROM asal. Okey, faham ah? Ha? ha, banyak yang cakap macam tu. "Oi, tak naklah tunggulah lagi setahun lagi dah habis warranty baru aku nak buat tukar custom ROM ke apa ke." Tak ada, kau boleh Sel selagi engkau hantar tu dalam keadaan asal. Warranty kau tak akan void, void. Okay, dia tak akan check punya Okay, faham ha, Dia tak akan check punya Dia tak akan, dia, dia tak tahu pun akan nak check uh, Oh, dah unlock bull order ke apa Tak tahu pun, sebab sebelum kau tukar room Masuk room asal tu, dia dah wipe dah Sejarah-sejarah kau dah tak ada dah Dekat dalam tu, dalam phone tu ada Room asal saja. Okay, faham eh Okay, now it's uh, uh, lagi 4 4 minutes left Okay, this tutorial how to flash its original ROM. Okay, for you who, who uh, uh, not sure what tutorial is this, how to flash its original ROM and lock the bootloader for warranty claim. Okay, or if you want to sell your device, okay, it's new owner a new owner don't want the custom rom or other rom that they you they they don't want they want it, it's original also you can do like that you flash its original rom is uh original rom that out of the box so if china said 
you have to flash China Rome because China said its original Rome is China Rome. Okay, so for this Mi 11T Pro, it's a global set, so its original Rome is global Rome. So this device, we want to claim warranty, you have to flash global Rome, its original Rome. Okay, got me or not? Okay, now it's already two minutes left. Okay, flash the how to flash is the same. Okay, how to flash Xiaomi official ROM is the same. All in my video is the process is still the same. You are using me flash tool. Okay, you want to flash all global ROM, India ROM, China ROM, global ROM, uh, Taiwan ROM, Indonesian ROM, EU ROM. <coughs> all process is the same you can watch my video either one of them how to flash global room okay there is no specific if because if no one send me to flash the room how I, how i going to make a video okay my video is based from my own devices or from other person devices that is sending to me to flash room okay that is why I'm doing this video so now before this there is no one send me Xiaomi 11 T Pro to me to flash room so that's why there is no video for flash Xiaomi 11 T Pro okay so for today <coughs> I, I just received this device Mi 11 T Pro that are currently using Xiaomi.eu okay, you can see here it is using Xiaomi.eu okay he want to claim warranty he want to send to the center to claim warranty so he want me to flash its original ROM global ROM and then lock the bootloader uh, this is is tutorial about how to flash its original ROM and lock the bootloader Please bear in mind, please lock bootloader. You can only lock on its original room. Okay, please don't dare you to lock bootloader on other than its original room. If you if you if you are using China set already flash global room, don't lock the bootloader. Phone will not boot up. It will give you a warning. It will start in the recovery mode and give the warning. This OS is not compatible with this room, this device. Okay? Okay, now it's already done. TKD MISM. I want to know the KD. KD code for 11T Pro. Okay? KD and the code is VLE. Okay, you can see here. Eleven T Pro, code name is Vili. TKD MISM. Okay. Original image. So it's already downloaded. It's already downloaded. <coughs> Okay, this is the room that I downloaded just now. So, as usual, you unzip it. Okay, unzip, make sure the unzip process, there is no data corrupt in the process. There is no error in it while you unzip it. Okay. If, when you download it, just leave it the room at the download folder. Okay, don't use put it in the desktop or whatsoever. You just leave it in the download folder, or else you will fail. Your flash will be fail. Okay, let it unzip until complete. 
Okay, now it's already finished the unzip process. <coughs> okay. Okay, we can now begin to flash its original ROM. First of all, you have to on the USB debugging in the device. Okay, I've already on the USB debugging. Okay, so you now you open the Mi Flash 2. Sorry, you open the Mi Flash 2. Okay, this is a Mi Flash 2. Okay, click clean all. We don't want to click clean all and lock. Okay, first thing you when you open the Mi Flash 2, make it a habit to tick clean all. By default, it will click tick automatically click to clean all and lock we don't want to do that because if clean all and lock it will lock bootloader okay it will flash and lock the bootloader so if the flash not successful successful this bootloader this device bootloader will be locked okay you have to unlock it to flash again Okay, if the flash not successful, for sure the phone will not boot up. Okay, if the bootloader is already locked, how are you going to reflash it again? You have to unlock the bootloader. Okay, let's say this device you buy from someone else. That someone else, the first owner of this device is unlock the bootloader using his me account. So how are you going to to find that person to unlock the bootloader okay it's very important that when you open the Mi Flash tool you tick clean all don't tick clean all and lock this is the other way you want to you want to flash <coughs> and lock the bootloader but I don't want to show you this way I want to show you the you want to block the bootloader using ADB command okay okay now it's already click taken all your device already on the uh, you uh, already on the USB debugging okay now we can proceed to flash okay gang bila buka me flash tool pertama sekali kau kena tick clean all by default the tick clean all and lock Jangan buat macam tu. Kita boleh lock bootloader masa flash. Tapi kita tak tahu ROM yang kita download tu ada masalah ke tak ada masalah. Takut nanti bila kau flash, flash to fail, bootloader dah lock. Ha, jadi kau tak boleh flash lagi. Okay. Pastikan tick clean all. Melainkan bila kau dah pernah guna ni. Okay. Macam ni aku first time guna yang aku download ni kan. Aku flash berjaya. Okay. Okay. Next time aku pakai pakai room yang aku ni juga aku boleh confidently tick clean all and lock sebab tak ada masalah dengan room sebab kita tak tahu kita baru download kita tak tahu room tu data ada korap ke apa ke nah takut dalam tu Xiaomi ada letak apa benda ke nah, kita tak tahu kita bila kita tick clean all and lock kita flash fail bootloader dah lock nah, itu masalah okey <coughs> kalau kau beli phone ni daripada orang lain owner yang asal tu yang unlock bootloader ni kalau kau lock kau kena cari owner tu pakai mi account dia mi account yang dia unlock tu untuk unlock bootloader ni ha, tu kan masalah kan jadi untuk selamat tick clean all sebab aku akan ajar cara untuk lock bootloader pakai command ok bila dia dah berjaya baru kita lock bootloader <coughs> manually Bukan block bootloader pakai flash room. Okay. Dah click clean all and lock. Uh, USB debugging sudah on dekat phone. Okay. Sekarang ni kita cari file yang kita dah unzip. Ini ini, ini Nua. Nua ni Mi 13 Pro kot. Ha, ni hari tu last kali aku buat orang punya lah. Okay. So we, we put that, that room is on the download folder. 
let it be in the download folder when you download it let it be on the download folder don't you do you don't you put the rom on the desktop or other folder or else it will fail okay okay you find the rom really this is the one this is the one that we want to flash okay click this arrow and choose the image the middle folder okay make sure there is three folder sometimes it will show only this main folder and the image folder don't proceed to flash you must there must be three folder and you you, you and you choose middle folder okay pastikan eh dalam room tu ada tiga folder ni kalau ada dua folder je, jangan flash. Sebab ada yang tak kena tu. Mungkin kau punya zip, punya tools, ataupun kau letak dekat folder lain. Dia akan keluar dua folder. Ha. Pastikan ada tiga folder dan kau pilih folder yang tengah-tengah. Okay, choose this folder. And then click OK. Okay, now it's already changed to Billy Global Image TKD MISM. Okay, now phone is already... Uh, On the USB debugging is already on. USB debugging is already on. Okay. Okay, you off your device and put it to the passport mode. Go to the passport mode on your device by pressing power volume down until passport word appeared. Okay. Okay, passport mode is already on. So now connect your device. Connect your device. Then after you connect your device, you click refresh. Okay, selepas connect, kau tekan refresh ni. Nanti device kau akan, device number ni akan keluar. Okay. Lain device, lain device number dia. Okay. Refresh again. Okay. Now we already tick clean all. So now we can begin to flash. Okay, Billy Global, Billy TKD MISM. Make sure the ROM is correct. Okay, now start flash. Flash processing will take some time. Sometimes uh, there will be seven... 100 elapsed second or sometimes 500 or sometimes 600 it depends on the how big is the room this is the status okay now the status is flash super C flash super sorry flash super in the C drive okay Make sure your screen will not automatically on the uh, power saving mode or else connection will be lost. Okay, masa tengah flash ni, pastikan eh, main dengan kesa ni ke atau kau buka YouTube ke apa benda ke, pastikan jangan lock, auto lock. Sebab bila auto lock, connection akan lost. Antara... Mi flash tu dengan PC dia akan lost Jadi kau flash akan sangkut Pastikan Kadang-kadang kau tengah flash ni Kau pergi tempat lain ke Kau datang balik dah lock Habislah Okay 
Pastikan macam tu Aku benar kena Okay, now it's already 177 second. Kadang-kadang kalau cepat sangat pun tak boleh juga. Mesti ada something wrong. Itu pun jangan Itu pun Kabel pun jangan kacau eh Kau jangan main-main goyang-goyang kabel Kau cocok tak betul Kau goyang-goyang kabel Nanti Dia tertarik sikit Connection loss pun Boleh mendatangkan masalah Okay Jadi kena hati-hati lah Nak flash ni Aku yang dah flash Banyak phone pun aku risau tau Time nak flash ni risau takut apa-apa masalah Sebab kita tak tahu okay? Kita tak tahu Xiaomi, Xiaomi dia tak apa dekat dalam room tu ha. Kita tak tahu dia keluar update okay? Misal kata dia keluar update Dalam room tu dia, kas, dia beritahu dia, dia, dia letak tak boleh flash ha, Mampus lah ha, Jadi kita tak tahu apa yang Xiaomi nak akan lakukan pada room seterus-terusnya Jadi kita tak tahu Dulu pernah uh, Xiaomi letak um, anti rollback. Dia letak anti rollback tau. Dekat dalam room. Anti rollback. Maksudnya kau tak boleh nak downgrade ke. Uh, tak boleh. Letak anti rollback. Dia ada code dia untuk anti rollback. Jadi gamai orang kena. Flash je akan break. Flash je akan break. Jadi tak laku. Model tu Sebab orang takut Orang takut nak beli Bila bagi tahu je Model tu Orang cerita pasal anti rollback Jadi orang takut lah Orang nak beli China set Orang takut lah Sebab anti flash global Kena break Kena anti rollback Jadi sekarang ni Tak ada pun cerita pasal anti rollback Dekat Rome Xiaomi Sebab sebab itulah Kita tak kita tak tahu Mana tahu Tiba-tiba Xiaomi Keluarkan balik anti rollback kita tak boleh tak boleh nak flash rom lagi ha, kita tak tahu itu semua dis keputusan pada Xiaomi lah okey now we still in the super flash super it's already 360 second okey super is already completed now it will flash other image Four hundred second.
Okay, now it's, it's flashing DTBO, A and B. It will show all the status here, so you know what the status is of this flashing. User data, it flashing boot now. It flashing boot image now. Okay, success. So, the boot, your device will boot up by itself. Okay, there is some cases, it show fail, but your device boot by itself. Why? Because after it flash, there will be a checkup. Okay, there will be a checkup. Uh, that may be that one is fail. That is why the result will show fail. But it boot up. Okay. So that means uh, uh, flash process of that device successful but the checkup is fail. Okay, now we we'll wait until the phone is successfully put up. Okay, now setting as usual. Okay, I will skip this because this is not my device, but I will try to sign in after it properly boot up to check. Okay, all is there. Okay. Great. Classic approval, okay. Okay, it's done. Okay, now your device is Sorry, your device is officially with global ROM. Okay, you are now no dates. Okay. Uh, okay, now if you can. If you can check, the bootloader is still unlocked.
Okay, Bulodo still unlock. You can see here the Bulodo, Bulodo still unlock. Okay. So now I want to show you how to block the Bulodo using ADB command. USB debugging, we have to hold on it. Okay, I try to log in my Google account. <coughs> okay, I already uh, log into my Google account. Okay, if the if the device bull order is unlocked, okay, your safety net will fail. If you run the test, CTS profile match will fail. You can see here, CTS profile match is failed because bootloader is unlocked. If CTS profile match fail, your device will not treat as certified. Okay? Play protect certification device is not certified okay this is because of bootloader unlock cts profile mesh safety net fail Run the test it fail okay i will show you after i lock the bootloader and run the safety net profile mesh again okay now The device is already in its original room. Okay, this is Xiaomi 11T Pro global version. Okay, its original room is global official global room. This is I just now flash official global room. So I can safely lock back the boot loader. Okay. Now I want to show you how to lock the bootloader on its original ROM. Okay, please bear in mind you cannot lock bootloader other than its original ROM. Okay, if your device is China set, China version, its original ROM is China ROM, you cannot lock the bootloader when you flash global ROM cannot lock bootloader on global rom on the china set okay if this device is global set you flash china rom you cannot lock the bootloader on the china rom for the global set okay okay kawan kawan sekarang ni phone ni aku dah flash Room asal dia, okay? Um, Xiaomi 11T Pro room asal dia adalah global room sebab dia adalah global set. Jadi aku sekarang ni aku dah flash room asal Xiaomi 11T Pro. Keluar daripada kotak memang inilah room dia. Out of the box, this is the room for this device. Okay? Jadi sekarang ni aku boleh proceed untuk lock bootloader. Jadi tak ada masalah untuk aku nak lock bootloader dekat dia punya room yang asal. Okay. Uh, okay. First of all, I, I already on the USB debugging. USB debugging dah on. Nak lagi sekali ni eh. Status bootloader is unlock eh. USB debugging on. Bila kita lock bootloader ataupun unlock bootloader, phone ni akan automatically reset. It will reset by itself when we unlock bootloader or lock bootloader. Okay, so make sure you have you back up your data first before you lock or unlock the bootloader. Okay, so now 
I will set up everything. I will uh, show my PC. Okay. Okay, this is already done successfully. We can close it now. Okay, now we open command prompt. Okay. You have to open the command prompt. Okay, this is the command prompt. Okay, now you go to the uh, the down, uh, platform tools folder. Where is the platform tools folder? For you who don't know, platform tools folder, we have to download it. Okay? You Google it. This is how you do the, how do you download the platform tools platform tools. Okay? It not, it not in your PC. Okay? You search platform tools this is the one android developer sdk platform to release node okay you click this one okay this is the tools okay if you are using windows you just click to download and then you unzip it after you download, it will be like this. Okay? You unzip it. Okay, this is the platform to folder after you unzip. You go inside. This one, you copy and put it to your to drive C like this okay a lot of people don't know about this okay platform tools okay in the platform tool there is several this is the TWRP that I flash okay now in the command from CD go inside the platform tools folder okay then you can issue any ADB command okay if you didn't go inside the platform to folder how you want to issue the ADB command so you issue this ADB devices, it will recognize. Okay. Okay, I, I show you another. I, I, I show you. Okay, if what happened if you didn't go into the platform tools folder? Okay, I open the command prompt again. Okay. ADB devices. You enter. ADB is not recognized as an internal or external command. Opera, opera, operable program or batch file. That is that is why if you have to go into the platform tools folder. So that is that is why it will rec recognize any command that you fast boot com. Uh, ADB command that you issue okay got me or not okay now ADB devices okay now the device that you are already that you are already already uh, what we call already on the USB debugging you power out, power it off. 
turn off your device, press the power and volume up buttons at the same time, then tap power off. <laughs> or from the top of the screen. Yeah, 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 I know, I know, I know. Power okay. off. <clears throat> <clears throat> Okay, and then you put, you go to the password mode. Go to the password mode and you on, and you connect your device. Power, volume down, go to password mode. Okay, here it is the password mode. Connect your device. And then you issue password devices. Password devices is to check either the phone is already connected to your PC or not. Okay, it's already connected. Okay, now... You want to lock the bull order. You want to lock the bull order. Okay, you can check. Eh? You can check. Okay, this is how you check the bull order. Fast boot. This command is to check OEM device. This is how to check. Info. Okay, bull order verify mode true. Device unlock true. Device critical unlock true. Charger screen enable true. Okay, that means this device bull order is unlocked. Okay. Okay, another another you want to check is how to check is fast boot. Get wow. oh. This is will show all the status of your device. Okay. Okay, ni. Uh, successful unlock. Where is the unlock? I need this is the code. Uh, slot it using using slot A. Unbootable. We show the unsuitable, successful, no. Let me show here. No, it will not, sh it, it will not show here. But it will show all the system, status of your system. Okay. Hmm. Here is a slot. slot, current slot is A. Okay. Okay, now what are you, what you are waiting for is how to lock the bolder. The command is fast boot. O E M lock. This is the command. Please issue this command on its original ROM only. Okay. So if China set, you issue this command on China ROM. If you are global set, you issue this command on the global room. Don't issue this command, don't lock the bootloader on other than its original room. Or your phone will stuck in the recovery mode, will not boot up until you unlock the bootloader. Okay, so now I issue the command and enter. Fast boot OEM lock. Okay, it's finished and the phone is now reboot by itself. It will automatically uh, 
reset <coughs> it will reset automatically see here As you can see, there is no padlock here, so that means the phone is all bull, phone bull order is already unlocked. Okay. Choose my country. I will remove the seam. Okay, don't skip. Okay. Okay, it's done now. Okay, 
when you check when you check in developer status this device is locked okay device is already locked <coughs> I on USB debugging because I want to show you when you issue the command OEM device info in the ADB command okay so now let me log in to the play store and show you what the status of this device okay go to the play store check setting about phone device is the certified why because you lock the bull order when you check the CTS profile match <coughs> run the test CTS profile match is success so that is why your device is certified because you lock the bull order Okay, you got me or not? Okay, now you can now. <coughs> your device is ready to send to the center, whatever center of your country is, to claim for warranty. Okay, it will not reject you because when they check, the room is original room and the bootloader is locked. Okay, other way to check either the bootloader is locked or not. You press reboot. There will be no padlock appeared above. Okay, guys, I hope you understand my tutorial. Now you are ready to claim warranty for your device, or you can sell it to the other person. Okay. Next time, okay, ni peringatan pada pada orang lain lah. Siapa-siapa yang pakai EU tu, sebelum jual, kalau kau pakai Global Room, tanya dululah dia punya orang yang nak beli tu. Ha, tanya, lebih lagi bagus, kau jual, kau masuk room asal dan kau lock boot loader. Sebab biarlah owner baru tu nak buat lepas tu Dia nak buat masuk room lain pun Itu biar bergantung pada dia Dia nak unlock bull order Biar dia unlock bull order pakai ID dia sendiri Okay, faham? Jadi, bila kalau kena masalah nanti Phone break ke apa Sebabkan bull order lock Dia nak cari kau susah nanti Dia nak unlock pakai kau punya ID yang kau asal kau unlock tu Okay, siapa ni nak, nak jual Masuk room asal, lock lah boot loader. Biarlah owner sebelum, owner lepas tu akan buat lah apa yang dia dia, dia nak buat dekat di, phone dia. Dia dah beli phone tu kan. Ha, okay guys. ah uh, Please take note that please don't lock boot loader other than its original room. Okay, it's I already remind you couple of time. If you lock bull order other than its original room, the phone will break. It's your own. It's it's your own risk. If you do that, it's your own risk. Because I already advise you, don't lock bull order other than its original room. Okay. If you want to make your day on that day difficult, try lock the bull order. <laughs> Other than its original room, your your for sure your your day will be difficult on that day until you unlock it back. Okay, okay guys, bye. I hope you understand. And please, if you if you if you think that this tutorial is beneficial to you, please subscribe and support me. Okay, bye. Thank you. Have a Nice day.